Georgie loves trains here and welcome to Traversing the Manchester Metro Link. It's been a long time coming me filming this final episode. I've basically been waiting for the lighter nights to kick back in and also there's been a lot of network improvements across the Metro Link lately. So I was waiting for a day where none of those were taking place. It's time to go Traverse Zone 4. With a total of 20 stops, Zone 4 is made up of the green, yellow, brown, pink, dark blue and purple lines. I'm on 31.06, I literally just hopped onto this hoping that it was a berry tram I was supposed to be getting, I think it is. <laughs> That tram was really quiet. I do hope they're gonna be like that all day, although it seems, as always, the Manchester bound platforms are a lot busier than the not Manchester bound platforms. Radcliffe, two platforms, it's near a leisure centre and some gardens. Got off 3058, I'm now at Berry. Funny thing, I accidentally called Abraham Moss Berry back in zone two. There is a premier in with some funky looking windows outside of the stop and there is an interchange. Berry's two platforms, it is an island platform. Just got off 30.06. I'm changing out of Victoria, which means I can just quickly go and have a wee. And I'm getting on 30.61. I'm at Shore and Crompton. There were some surprising, hilly, beautiful views on the way here then. It's three platforms, very quiet. I did actually see before that Shaw and Crompton was written on the front of a tram, so it must be a terminus. There is an Asda over there, you can just see the big letters poking through the trees. Just got off 3110 and I am hoping at some point today I will find myself on board one of the new trams because unknowingly a few weeks ago I was on one so they are definitely in service now. New Hay serves a little village and there is a memorial park. It's two platforms, the sun is out but it is freezing right now like it's gloves weather. I barely wore any layers because well, I thought it was going to be a lot warmer. I'm on 3017. I'm off 3017. Milne Road, two platforms. There is a cricket ground around here and also an Aldi somewhere. And I'm like, because I've not brought food with me, should I take this opportunity to go and get some? Because I am so hungry. You know what? The tram's in like eight minutes, so I'm going to leave it and go to a shop somewhere else. I'm at Kingsway Business Park. The two platforms are staggered. I do like it when the tram stop platforms are staggered, me. There's an RE view from here and it is near Turbury Walk. Just got off 3115. These stops are all like really close together as well. New Bold, it's two platforms, an island platform. I see the Morrisons. It's a shame there's not a cut through this fence so I can get there a bit easier, but I am going. It is time for me to go and get some food. Next tram is 30.35. Rochdale Railway Station, two platforms, an island platform. Hey, look, it's the train station. I've been there. When you're at Rochdale Railway Station, you put your knickers on your head. You put your knickers on your head. You put your knickers on your head. When you're at Rochdale Railway Station, you put your knickers on your head and you shout, Squishy Babies! I was getting a nice little bum jiggle off that middle seat then. 
this is my first ever time at the Rochdale tram stops and Rochdale Town Centre does not have the big stop signs. It's two platforms, an island platform again. The River Roch starts close by to here and the name of that river is probably why Rochdale is called Rochdale. I'm on 3128 and oh my days you know what the blue on the top of those seats means. This is a new tram. I'm changing at Colbrook and I'm on 30.23. I got up early this morning so I'm trying not to fall asleep right now because these tram rides are so relaxing. I'm at Timperley. I forgot the trams are super frequent down here and we're back on to looking like we're traveling on trains again. You can hop onto the Bridgewater Canal, it's two platforms. Just got off 3011, I'm now at Navigation Road, I've been wanting to visit this tram stop for quite a while now. It is one platform, although you might think it's two, but that platform over there actually belongs to Navigation Road Railway Station. Navigation roads just near streets. Interestingly, there were two dot matrix displays there. One for the trams going to Alteringham and one for the trams headed to Manchester. 3038 has brought me to Alteringham. It's two platforms and it is part of an interchange and it's a cool interchange because it combines trains, trams and buses. The ice rink is right here. <laughs> Getting on 3044. For a change at Trafford Bar. And of 3122, bringing me to Martin's Croft. It's two platforms, an island platform. Around here, you'll find streets and a park. That passing through not in service was an Ikea tram, get that. There's been a lack of posters everywhere today. Got off, 31, 31, another new one, yes. Bench Hill, two platforms. Oh, I love the sun being out. Bench Hill is near to a college and the health centre. I'm on 30, 13, back in my favourite seat behind the cab. Crossacres is near streets. I was just having a look over that platform. There's a lot of flats as well. It's two platforms and at these stops we're calling at now, there's no like placey maps, you know the maps which show what's around the area. Just got off 3088. Withenshaw Town Centre, not to be confused with Withenshaw Park. It's two platforms, it's near a shopping centre and Withenshaw Forum Centre. Getting on 3067. Robinswood Road is around some little woods. It's two platforms and the platforms are that staggered, it looks like the one over there is a completely separate stop. Oh, you can tell we're getting closer to the airport with the planes looking lower and lower in the sky. Just got off 3108 and I'm at Peel Hall. It's near those same little woods. In fact, it looks as though it's more in a wood with a main road next to it. The DMI is showing no tram services, which doesn't help, but I'm guessing there will be one in about 12 minutes time. Okay, one's popped up now, 18 minutes. It's two platforms, there's a plane going over. About to get on, 31.20. Shadow Moss is near streets and I am intrigued to know where that path leads to. Okay, so I can't actually get up there because there's a railing blocking it. Shadow Moss has a modern new look to it and it's two platforms. 
not quite sunk in that not only am I on the final tram of Zone 4, but it's also the final tram within the whole series. It's 30.25. I've been to Manny Airport on the train, but never the tram up until now. It's two platforms and Manchester Airport is where tram meets train meets bus meets plane. I totally thought this was going to take all day like with zones two and three but it's just gone half past three and the day has been far more relaxed and I've not been rushing about it's actually reminded me of filming zone one. I have been to all the tram stops in zone four. Radcliffe, Berry, Shaw and Crompton, New Hay, Milnrow, Kingsway Business Park, Newbold, Rochdale Railway Station, Rochdale Town Centre, Timperley, Navigation Road, Ultringham, Martinscroft, Bench Hill, Cross Acres, Wivenshaw Town Centre, Robinswood Road, Peel Hall, Shadow Moss, Manchester Airport. And that brings the series to a close. Whenever people ask me from now on to tell them something interesting about myself, I actually have something interesting to respond. I'm Jeeves Trains and I've been to every single tram stop on the Manchester Metro link. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bye Z bye!